Morning, Wiener. You excited? How many days? How many days? Two days. Maybe sooner. So today we have another uh, fetal assessment. Mm -hmm. In Winnipeg at St. Boniface Hospital. Yep, birds. See how the little dude's doing? Our giant little dude. He's a big baby. He's a big, big baby. Boy. He's got no room, but he is viciously kicking today. Somehow he's finding room to do that. He is ready to come out. So tomorrow, her sister gets here, and I think that's when it's going to be really real to us. It's going to feel real. Because we know that she's here to watch the dogs and watch the house while we're at the hospital. Feel good. Yeah? Yeah. I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. I'm training for this moment for a while. I'm ready. So now we go into Winnipeg, get the last fetal assessment. This is the last appointment before the actual C-section. We've got to park on the street blocks away from the hospital. Like usual, there's no parking around the hospital. I think that's a general rule of hospitals. Just making sure that, I, yeah, two hour parking. Okay. Doesn't matter what hospital you go to, usually there's no parking. So I dropped right off at the front doors, St. Boniface Hospital, and then parked about four or five blocks down. I'll walk in, she's registering inside there already. That's the hospital right up here. It's one of the biggest ones in Manitoba. St. Boniface Hospital. It's actually the hospital where I was born. Yeah. 153 over 98. Yeah. So they sent her to triage. Just for my blood pressure. They're just checking for preeclampsia pre again. Hopefully all is clear. Mm -hmm. They might give me something to keep my blood pressure stable over the next couple days until the C-section. Okay. I'm, I'm just, I have no idea what's going on. He's just the supportive husband. <laughs> kind of freaked me out a little bit that uh, it wasn't like last time where we just go home. Now they're like, you need to go downstairs to triage. And I'm like, why? <laughs> why? And then there all the questions and forms she had to fill out. And I was like, is he coming today? <laughs> no, not before I get my Olive Garden. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it over there, but that's baby's heartbeat. We're freaking out a little bit. Just a little bit. So we're going to be staying here at the hospital a little longer than we thought. A couple days or so. Because I have preeclampsia. Looks like uh, Theo's coming within the next half hour or so. He's coming right now. Two days early. It is March 22nd. Oh boy. So we aren't that prepared. We didn't We're not have, at all prepared. We should have been <laughs> a little more prepared. Uh, we don't have our go bags or our phone chargers. We had this all planned out. <laughs> But life isn't perfect, life is messy, so we're just rolling with it. Mm -hmm. So after delivery, he's going to be here, like she said, in less than an hour. 
and after delivery I'm gonna stick around here for a little bit and then I'm gonna run home grab our stuff take care of the dogs and then come back here for night and then her sister is going to meet me at our house and she's gonna stay there overnight with the dogs Whew. it's happening right now this kids a handful already <laughs> we're ready for you little buddy here he comes so in a few minutes, the doctor's going to come in and give me scrubs. She's already in hers. Well, these are hospital gowns. But... And then they're going to take her away from me and bring her into the room and uh, get her prepared for surgery. Give me my anesthesia, or not my anesthesia, my, my spinal. Mm-hmm. And then once everything's set and ready, they're going to bring me in with the scrubs and we're going to meet our son. Wow. And Five and a half years we've been preparing for this. Here it is. We're, we're in shock a little bit because we were not expecting it. Yeah. We just wanted to go to Olive Garden. <laughs> we were going to go to Olive Garden after this. <laughs> so we will talk to you guys after. We're not going to be filming at all in the operating room. But uh, there might be some pictures that we share after he's cleaned up. We'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do. No but, promises. Uh, We'll see you once uh, once he's out here and in the wall. Surgery went well. It's a couple of days later, but uh, we want to introduce you to somebody. Newest member of our family. Came out absolutely perfect. Okay. He's hungry again. Our little milk monster. Okay. Yeah, mom will feed you before I finally go have a shower two days later <laughs> <laughs> passed all of his tests yep birds. perfect health yeah just no. had his hearing tested yeah no jaundice. no jaundice it was seven pounds and 12 ounces i'm not sure where he was hiding inside of me well my ribs he was up in my ribs but big boy big healthy boy Welcome to the world, Theo. Welcome to the family. We're going home today. And our, I think the Fur Brothers are probably pretty excited to meet him by now. So it was a little nerve-wracking uh, for us, especially for Britt. We came in for a fetal assessment. And it turned out we were... She was. Swooped away for surgery. <laughs> yes, swooped away for surgery. And uh, they had to prepare her... Uh, so I, I waited outside the room, and they prepared her for surgery, and then right before they started, they let me into the room. I got to go sit beside her head there. That's the picture you probably saw already of just after Theo was born. That was probably about maybe a, a minute after he was born. Yeah, just before 9 p.m. Mm -hmm. A wild ride. It was a but worth it. It's two days later now. We're just wrapping up this video. It's Everything. supposed to be C-section day. Yes, today was supposed to be the day. Oh, you that got a head start. <laughs> Can you imagine if he'd been in there till April 1st? He's 7 pounds, 12 ounces born. Can you imagine how much he would have weighed? Yeah. I would have exploded. Lost a lot. Uh, lost some weight. After yeah. he was born, they said that's perfectly normal. Yeah, as long as they don't lose more than 8%. Yeah, he was 7 pounds, 6 ounces was last night. Last night? Yeah. And this is two days later. So he was born on Wednesday, March 22nd, 2023. And we're wrapping this up here March 24th. And getting ready to go home.
Britt's gonna get all cleaned up. I'm gonna clean up the room here. I'm gonna get my bandages taken off. They're gonna check out my incision and uh, get our paperwork filled out and away we go. So just to wrap things up, we've been at the hospital here for two days. Uh, Britt has been healing up very well. She's been a champion through the whole surgery and C-section. Didn't even flinch. Uh, I mean, it could have been the, the medications, but uh, handled it like a champion. And uh, Theo came out strong as ever. Perfectly healthy in every way. Perfectly perfect. Yes, he is. I might be a little bit biased, though. How are you feeling? Sore. Extremely tired. I was up for 39 straight hours. But uh, I, I got like, I want to say, cumul cumulatively, maybe about four or five hours last night of sleep. So I'm a little better today, a little less hazy. But uh, I could sure use a shower. Definitely going for one of those soon. But I'm over the moon. Look at this guy. He's so beautiful. I'm gonna take you home soon, buddy. You meet your fur brothers. They're gonna love you. Oh, are they ever especially Chevy? Chevy's very good with babies. Yes, he is. He loves kids. We've been waiting a long time for you, man. Yeah, five and a half years. You couldn't wait two more days. Yeah. Ready to go home today, Theo? He's all fed, dressed, ready for the day. Oh yeah? What's that? Oh, he's dreaming about eating. Oh, don't you even think about it, buddy. <laughs> I was supposed to go for a shower two hours ago. <laughs> he's been feeding constantly. Boy likes his food. He really likes his food. Just like me. I like my food a little too much, too. Bit of a belly to show for it. Britt's got to go down the hall, and uh, this is first time, just me with Theo. One-on-one, <laughs> -on -one, daddy time. I have every face on this really fine. He looks very comfortable. I'm going to leave him right there. And I'll just <laughs> stare at him. Yeah, he should be content for at least an hour or two now. All right. I'll see you when I'm somewhat more human. All right, enjoy. Thank you. I will. My boy. It's just me and you now. I'm just going to sit here and stare at you. Is that okay? So I went to go grab his car seat, right? Right over there. Had to get it from the car and, you know, walk in with it. Bit of an emotional walk for me. Gonna take you home, buddy. I'm waiting so long for you. I can't wait to bring you home. You're perfect. Oh, big yawn. Big yawn. Yeah, walking back, because I parked in the parkade, right? There's a long term uh, parking parkade. And I didn't know how long we were going to be here, so I just bought a pass for the week and went and parked there. I didn't have to worry about the vehicle then, right? It's the last thing I want to worry about right now. So at least we know we weren't going to get towed. It's impossible to find parking around hospitals. But uh, going and got it out of the car just a little while ago. And carried it up. And all the nurses asking, you going home today? Him? Yeah. Trying to hold it together, all that coming all the way home with him. Waiting so long for you. Just 
Isn't that amazing? That's amazing. Oh. I'm right here, buddy. You know, the first picture we have of him, because he's an IVF baby, so the first picture we have of him was five days after conception. Just a clump of little cells. That was my baby boy. We have a picture of him at home. When he a... Now look at him. And all I can do is dream about eating. <laughs> this is our little hotel room, our private room. Our grand suite. If <laughs> Theo's watching this in the future, this is the room you first lived in. You first lived in. Yeah. The first two and a half days of your life. I don't know exactly where or which room, but somewhere on this floor, I was also born. It's a very good floor. <laughs> You're looking great. Look at you. Can you tell she just had a baby? Looks fantastic. Alright. So we're getting everything packed up. Then I'm going to bring everything down to the car. Everything except what we absolutely need. The jackets, the car seat, Theo. Then all we got to do is a stress-free, slow walk downstairs with Theo. I'll bring her to the doors, we'll find her somewhere to sit. I'll go grab the vehicle, bring it up to the doors, go inside, get Theo and her, bring him out to the car, latch him in to the base of the car seat in the back for the first time. And take the big trip home. Yeah. Might be a bit of an emotional ride. A little bit. It's been a long time coming. Has it ever? Do you think this will fit over the car seat? Because we don't have our car seat cover that I anticipated us having. Yeah, that'll be enough to keep out the wind, hey? Yeah, and we won't be outside much. Just yeah. from the doors to the car. Yeah, it comes off once we get in there anyway. Okay. Little Theo, you're going to go on your very first car ride. I always loved car rides when I was a kid. You are going to love it. And maybe sometime this week or sometime very soon, I'll take you to meet old Blue going to be your first big semi truck. Yeah? Oh, was that a smile? I'll say it was a smile. We're going to say it was a smile. Yes. Very excited. <laughs> Maybe when you're old enough, you'll get to drive it. Oh, if you're real good. Little Theo, you ready to go home? Yeah, you ready to go home? You're in your going home outfit. Doctor says it's time to go home. So just before we leave, we're going to put him in his car seat for the first time. Just called the nurse. She's going to come make sure that we got him in there correctly. And we'll be officially discharged. Hi, can I help you? Hi, we're just ready for the car seat approval so we can go home. Okay, I'll look. Thank you. Here we go, buddy. Fancy going home outfit on? Mm hmm. Doesn't he look good in Wales? Handsome man. Great in Wales. Let's go home and introduce you to your fur brothers. Yeah. Go get cozy too. Yes. Place. Yes. Three hours is going to feel a lot more restful in our bed than this. Yeah. Boston filters. <laughs> First car ride, Theo. You're gonna love this. You're actually pretty darn long. You wait till you see what's outside these these walls. There's a whole world out there. Whole world. Lots of people, man.
Tommy and Theo in the back. We're on the way home. I am his, his uh, official sun visor. <laughs> and of course, taking him to Tim Hortons. First thing. In case you didn't know, buddy, you're Canadian. His daddy needs his coffee. We've got about a half hour drive home yet. You're feeling pretty good, eh? Yeah. We are home. How are you feeling? Better now that I'm home, but sore. Really, really sore. We're about to introduce all the big guys. We got the little guys down here already, getting caught up and everything. Oh. He's stuck. There you go. And we got the wiener around here somewhere too. He's pouting over there. He's pouting. <laughs> And the star. Welcome home, Theo. And big, big thank you to Auntie Jazz. Yes. Anytime. Big sister award goes to you. I love it. She took care of our whole house, took care of our dogs, made sure everything was good to go at Taking home. Taking care of, no worries. What do you figure, Britt? Are you ready for the big guys to meet them? Yeah, absolutely. I won't be able to. Well, bring him over here, maybe. Put him on the couch. Be on the couch? Sure. Yeah. In the in the. Sure, yeah, in the car seat. Yeah, Just to start. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. So we're trying to figure out the best method of introducing the big guys to Theo. We don't want to overwhelm them, and they're going to be very, very excited. Ready for the dogs? Right. Here we go. Okay, boys. Oh. oh, here they come. Mom and Dad are home. Hey, hey, this is gonna have to stop. Right, Debbie, please get down. Get down. I know, you guys haven't seen us in a while. We didn't tell you we weren't coming back right now. We didn't know. We didn't know we'd be gone for days. And then, good yeah, and then Auntie showed up. What the heck? <laughs> yeah. Doesn't even and you know what? That's awesome. <laughs> well I know. There, right? I know. Theo's here. Theo's here. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, hey, Shh. Shh. Yeah, we brought you your very oh, own baby oh, brother. Oh, You're very oh, excited. Oh, You're very oh, excited. Oh, You're oh, very oh, very oh, excited. Oh, <laughs> You like him? <laughs> you said, wait. Chevy, stay there. You're being good. Just killing him. <laughs> it's my bully. Oh, good job, boys. Everybody be very gentle. Did you just tell him he's cuter than him? <laughs> Is he cuter than you, Wiener? Bad chance. 
<laughs> okay. Boy, Frankie. It's time for him to go to mom. Let's see if I can get up from here. Yeah. 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 Are you sure? Are you sure? Do you want to go see your, your room? Oh, yeah. Do you want to go see your room? You won't be able to see much, but some of the colorful stuff might catch your eye. Maybe close up stuff. Yeah. Let me know what you think, Theo. <laughs> Daddy worked really hard. Okay. Oh, he's so excited, he's crying. Oh, jeez, buddy. <laughs> oh. Look. Look. Look at it in here. Isn't it nice? How nice it is. We're going to feed you. We're going to feed you.